right? Okay, so gravitational potential energy is the energy possessed by an object due to change in position or shape. That is potential energy and gravitational potential energy is energy possessed by an object due to change in position or due to its position above the ground. That we call gravitational potential energy. Example, write the example. A book lying on a table. A book lying on a table. A stone lying on the roof of a house. A stone lying on the roof of a house. And water stored in dams. A book lying on a table. A stone lying on the roof of a house. And water stored in dams. You know water is stored in dams always at a height. So that's why it stores gravitational potential energy. Can you tell me what about a flying kite? Which energy it will have? Kinetic or potential? What do you think? Gra uh, flying kite. Yes, Titiksha. Flying kite. Um, both potential and kinetic. Both kinetic as well as gravitational potential energy. Because it is flying. So it has kinetic energy also. It is moving. It has kinetic energy also. And because of its position from the ground, it has gravitational potential energy also. Okay. Then elastic potential energy. The second type of potential energy is elastic potential energy now. So let's come to the second part. It is energy possessed by an object due to energy possessed by an object due to change in shape due to change in its shape okay due to change in its shape now write the example suppose we have a rubber band we stretch it so stretched rubber band it has a lot of energy and that energy is elastic potential energy you can have an idea about this energy when you release this rubber band. Okay? It doesn't stay at that place. When we have not stretched that rubber band, it remains there only. But when we stretch that and then leave it, then release it, it goes a far distance away. Right? So that means this rubber band, when we stretch it, has a lot of elastic potential energy. Okay? Same way a stretched bow. Ek bow hai, usko aapne stretch kiya. Toh jab aap release karte ho, it goes very far. Okay? So that means another example is a stretched bow. A stretched rubber band. A stretched bow. Third example you can write, a compressed spring. You have a spring and you change its shape. Either you stretch it or you compress it. Its shape changes. And when you will release it, it will Again, not stay at that place. Okay? So that's why that means which energy the spring possesses, it will possess elastic potential energy. It will possess elastic potential energy. All right? So wherever our shape is changing, shape of object is changing, elastic potential energy is involved. Yes, Titiksha? I was asking that to please repeat gravitational potential energy. Gravitational potential energy is the energy possessed by an object due to change in position. Or you can also say energy possessed by an object due to its position above the ground. Due to its position above the ground. Next type of energy is mechanical. Mechanical energy is the sum of kinetic and potential energy. Mechanical energy is the sum of 
kinetic and potential energies or you can say that two forms of uh, mechanical energy are kinetic energy and potential energy right and sometimes uh, only kinetic energy is also called mechanical energy as i told you it's a form of mechanical energy and sometimes only potential energy is also named mechanical energy right so write down the definition of mechanical energy that means sum of kinetic and potential energies like i said the flying kite has both kinetic and potential energy that means it has mechanical energy okay it has mechanical energy we'll define some more main main types of energy light energy next is light energy we'll mainly focus on kinetic and potential energies but let us define some uh, major forms of energy light is also very important forms form of energy so light light is a form of energy that gives us sensation of vision jiski wajah se hum dekh pate hain theek hai vision hamara possible hota hai because of light energy all right so write down light energy it is the energy possessed by an object ya aap aise bhi bol sakte ho it is a form of energy that gives sensation of vision that gives sensation of vision sensation of vision and the branch of science branch of physics that deals with light is called optics that is just for your information what is meant by optics you must understand this word optics it's a branch of physics that deals with study of light next is sound energy <clears throat> sound energy it is the energy that is produced due to vibrations energy that is produced due to vibrations that is called sound energy energy that is produced due to vibrations is called sound energy <clears throat> suppose uh, there is a tabla and you hit the membrane of tabla then it starts vibrating and you hear the sound okay so what is the reason of uh, production of sound always vibrating body can produce sound always there will be some vibrations there will be some oscillations that will produce sound okay so you can write so many examples you hear so many sounds around i repeat optics optics is the branch of physics that deals with study of light okay like study of nature that is called physics same way study of light and related phenomena that is called optics okay and uh, sound energy next type of energy next type of energy after that is nuclear energy nuclear energy you uh, must have heard of two nuclear phenomena fission nuclear fission and fusion nuclear fission and fusion okay splitting up of a big uranium nucleus into smaller nuclei is called fission and fusion means lighter nuclei join together to form a big nucleus so whenever these phenomena take place a large amount of energy is released along with these uh, this energy is called nuclear energy so write down the definition of nuclear energy nuclear energy it is the energy released during nuclear fission or fusion energy released during nuclear fission or fusion a lot of energy is released you know a lot of energy is released so energy released during nuclear fission or fusion that is called nuclear energy 
नेक्स्ट टाइप ऑफ एनर्जी जियो थर्मल एनर्जी जियो मीन्स अर्थ थर्मल मीन्स हीट सो एनर्जी पोजेस्ड बाय अर्थ ड्यू टू हीट इन साइड इट तो अर्थ का कोर जो है यू नो इट्स वेरी हॉट सो द हीट प्रेजेंट इन साइड द अर्थ इन इट्स कोर दैट इज कॉल्ड जियो थर्मल एनर्जी सो एनर्जी पोजेस बाय अर्थ ड्यू टू हीट इन साइड इट दैट इज कॉल्ड जियो थर्मल एनर्जी दैट इज कॉल्ड जियो थर्मल एनर्जी मस्कुलर एनर्जी मस्कुलर एनर्जी द एनर्जी स्टोर्ड इन आर मसल्स ड्यू टू फूड दैट वी ईट वो मस्कुलर एनर्जी आती कहां पे कहां से कैसे स्टोर होती है हमारे मसल्स में ड्यू टू फूड वी ईट ड्यू टू मेटाबॉलिक रिएक्शन टेकिंग प्लेस इन साइड आर बॉडी सो मस्कुलर एनर्जी इज द एनर्जी स्टोर्ड इन आर मसल्स ड्यू टू फूड वी ईट ड्यू टू मेटाबॉलिक रिएक्शन टेकिंग प्लेस Inside our body. For example, for lifting anything, we need muscular energy. For riding a bicycle, we need muscular energy, right? Next form of energy is chemical energy. Chemical energy is the energy stored in any object due to chemicals inside it. ओके एनर्जी पोजेस बाय एन ऑब्जेक्ट ड्यू ड्यू टू केमिकल्स स्टोर्ड इनसाइड इट फॉर एग्जांपल कोल कोल हैज अ लॉट ऑफ केमिकल एनर्जी फॉर एग्जांपल कोल कोल हैज अ लॉट ऑफ केमिकल एनर्जी ओके क्रैकर्स क्रैकर्स दैट वी यूज ड्यूरिंग दिवाली दैट आल्सो स्टोर अ लॉट ऑफ केमिकल एनर्जी okay so these are main types of uh, energy that we want to define now we will come to kinetic energy in detail and we derive its expression so kinetic energy definition we have done its examples we have done now we will derive its expression a derivation so consider a smooth table whatever i am speaking you have to write in the beginning just uh, we don't have to write the mathematical when we write the derivation we have to present the situation as well so consider a smooth table means friction is absent means we are ignoring friction so there is an object of mass m lying on the table at rest if it is at rest that means u is zero if the object is at rest that means u is zero okay now a force acts on the object a force acts on the object and displaces it to a, to a new position now the object is here okay it has started moving with a final velocity v and the displacement produced is s suppose in the same direction of force suppose suppose the force moves the object in its own direction kavya is entering at 927 okay so situation is clear that you have to mention in the beginning that consider an object of mass m lying at rest on a smooth table let a force act on it and displace it through a displacement s and the object starts moving with a final velocity v now it is moving right some acceleration is produced in it that means right by definition of work what is the formula of work anyone you know f s cos theta and since uh, here force and displacement are in the same direction we will write f s only by newton's second law f is equal to ma because acceleration is here being produced here by newton's second law we have f is equal to ma so let's put it there in place of f our equation becomes mas let's call it equation number 1 is this step clear any doubt just we have written formula of work and substituted f is equal to ma in that so we get w is equal to mas
Okay, fine. Now. Yes. Is this step clear to you, students? Okay, now we use third equation of motion. By third equation of motion, you know, V square minus U square equal to 2AS. V square minus U square is equal to 2AS. That is the third equation of motion. Put U equal to 0 in it. Because U is 0 here now. So you put U equal to 0 here. You get V square minus 0 square. 0 square is also 0. So V square minus 0 square is 2AS. V square minus 0 means V square only. I hope this step is clear to you. Very simple step it is. Alright. Now, if we take 2 in the denominator, if we take 2 on the other side, then V square over 2 will be equal to AS only. Okay. Then V square over 2 is equal to AS. So put this AS here in equation number 1. That means in place of AS you will put V square by 2. In place of AS in equation number 1 you will put V square by 2. So let's do it. W is equal to M and in place of AS you will put V square by 2. M into V square by 2 means half M V square we can call it. And this work has been done to move the object from one place to another place. Okay, and energy possessed by any object due to motion that is called kinetic energy. So this work is stored in the form of kinetic energy. This work is nothing but kinetic energy. So we get the expression for kinetic energy. All right, you will find whenever we find any energy, we will find work first of all. You know, because work and en energy are equivalent, they are related. So to calculate any type of energy, when later uh, we will calculate gravitational potential energy, then also we have to first start from work. Pehle hum work se start karenge, fir hi hum kisi bhi energy mein So always keep this thing in mind. So have a look at the whole derivation once. This is the formula for kinetic energy. Is that clear? Any doubt in this derivation? Please do the written practice of derivation. Yes, any doubt? You can raise hand if you have. Yes, Jatin. Mom, is derivation in the history? Mom, definition is mom, should get it, uh, muscular energy. Okay, muscular energy. This is energy stored in our muscles. Okay, it is energy stored in our muscles due to food we eat or due to chemical metabolic reactions taking place inside our body. When we take food, when we eat food, then some metabolic reactions take place inside our body. Okay, you know that. And energy is released in these processes. That energy is stored in our muscles and we call it muscular energy. Right? Okay, thank you, ma'am. Yes, if you have any doubts, you can 